What's good with y'all? Uh, today I'm going over a couple of simple things as well. I'm going to just start off with a whole bunch of simple stuff through this tutorial. Tutorials, I guess. So today I'm going to go over uh, green screening, uh, transitions, and something else. Oh, no, nah, just green screening and transitions, really. So these two things are very simple to do really so let me just grab a clip now green screening can be very uh, annoying sometimes depending on the uh, clip it's like for instance this shouldn't be that hard to key out because the the orange is like very solid color and nobody else has on orange and <clears throat> on the court so it shouldn't be that bad so let's first go ahead and get this uh clip to oh uh, let's get this clip to 720 1080p And <clears throat> there's there's a whole bunch of keying options you can use. What you want to do is you want to go to the effects control tab, right click, and then go to key. And as you can see, you have all these keying options. But the main two that I use, I either use key light or color range. Let's start off with color range, which is much simpler. So what you want to do is when you use color range, you want to first double click on the clip so you can get into the layer mode. I don't, I just call it layer mode because when you double click on it, it just brings you to a whole other screen. And then next you want to click on this little, this little drop thing right here and then click on the court next. And as you can see, whatever is blacked out in this little preview display area is what's going to be keyed out. So what you have to do is you just have to play with all of these options down here until like whatever you want to be keyed out is fully keyed out. So let's try and get it keyed out cleanly, I guess, uh, the best we can. And that's looking like the best you're going to get. And if you want to make it look a little bit more cleaner, you all you can always just put a key cleaner on it and just play with that as well. But that's probably the best it's gonna get with using this option. And then once you're done, go back and see the cord is keyed out, and just like uh go back to your projects tab and grab like a gif or something i'm um, just grab uh where's the renushi gif by using renushi's tape you can just grab a gif and drag it and you want to first right click on the gif transform fit to comp so now it's uh fully keyed out on the court and everything but as you can see the uh the gif doesn't last the length of the entire clip so here's a quick here's a quick uh solution to that you want to go to the GIF, you want to right click on the GIF, scroll down to interpret footage, main, and then here at the bottom, it says loop. So basically you just want to make it loop for like 20 or 10 times and it should be long enough so you can extend it out to the length of the clip. So now you have a GIF that last throughout the entire clip very simple stuff very simple stuff all right so now 
I'm gonna explain how to use key light because I mean it's basically the same thing but it's different in a way so key light go to keying go scroll down to key light and yeah key light or you can just type it in the effects and presets tab what you want to do now that was loud holy <laughs> what you want to do now is double click again get this little eye drop click on the court now you can see why key light would not be used in the situation because it's keying out everything everything on the court is blacked out and you don't want that because it'll look like this everything is keyed out even like the players and stuff i mean this looks sort of cool in a way but it's not what i would be looking for in a keying out uh, clip because it's uncontrolled you got this guy being keyed out as well you can probably play with it to fix it a little bit but let me Just play with the screen balance and the screen gain, but key light in this option where there's where there's a lot of colors that are like the same like tint I guess like reds and it's red and orange so key light is gonna be like trying to key out everything that's the same color. So as you can see there's different situations for different keying options, so take notes from that. Ugh. and now and now for uh transitions let's get another clip first we gotta extend this so let's go like two minutes transitions so Let's get another clip. It's the same one. No. All right. So there's a uh, millions of ways to make transitions. You can make transitions by hand, which I am not going to explain because I mean that's insane like making the transition by hand it's something that you personally put your time into and only your methods can be put into making that transition so that's on you what I'm going to explain is how to use like sapphire transitions because uh, you need help using that so let's fit this to comp real quick So if you do have motion, bro, there's a lot of transitions that you can just literally put your cursor in the right area and just click. It's that simple. Motion, bro, is a very, very uh, easy software to use and it's very helpful at times because you don't want to make the shakes and stuff over and over again. You can just use motion, bro. Off. But yeah, as you can see, Motion Bro literally just transitioned it for me. So, if you do have the money, and if you do have the money to buy Motion Bro presets, it's very worth it. Now for the Sapphire uh, transitions. First one to do is make an adjustment layer, and right click. On <clears throat> right click on the adjustment layer go to effects and go to sapphire transitions and literally every one of these transitions i mean one of these presets are transitions so i'm gonna just click like a simple one i guess uh wipe circle <clears throat> and usually these transitions have like this right here where it'll be like you know 
a percentage and a stopwatch next to it. So what you want to do with these, you want to first keyframe the percent area, white percent or whatever percent you're trying to use. Uh, cut it to where you want the transition to start. Keyframe and then like go to where you don't want them to see anything. Pull up a couple frames forward and just back to zero and cut it. Simple as that. Transition. When you're manually making transitions, it's just all about keyframing. Let's do another one for example. Uh, transitions. Uh, do, do channel change as you can see it has a percent again so you just want to keyframe the percent at the start where you want it wherever the clips are like cutting off make it to a hundred percent or whatever percent you wanted to and then at the end make it zero simple as that So that's all for today. If you have any more questions, just DM me on Twitter or comment in the video what you need help with. And yeah, peace out.